Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to start a series inspired by one of my favorite like simple living, minimal living, almost like tiny living. It's called the Tiny Canal Cottage. Whitney from the Tiny Canal Cottage shares a series that I find really inspiring called Some Things You Could Probably Live Without. And I thought I would start my own version of that um, and share the things that I feel like I can live without and if you are similar to me or my lifestyle um, maybe there's some things in here that you could also live without. Over the last couple of months I've been kind of compiling a long list of items that I think that people could probably live without but today I'm just going to share with you eight of them. So first up are lighters. Like you know you like traditional lighter that you light candles with or cigarettes with or something like that. Instead, you can just use matches. And the cool thing about matches is they are like compostable or recyclable. They're a more sustainable option than the plastic lighters, which you can refill, but I feel like they're such a pain. People just like throw them away and then just get a new lighter because they're dirt cheap. But so are matches and it is a much more eco-friendly way to light a candle or whatever you need to light, <laughs> an incense or something like that. I feel like I might get questions about where I got this specific uh, ceramic matchstick holder and lighter. I actually made it in a pottery class, but you can find something similar from, um, I think it's called like Farmhouse Pottery. I'll leave a link to them in the description below, but you might be able to find something like this on Etsy too. Another thing that I feel like people can definitely live without are like dedicated organizers things that you buy like plastic organizers which sometimes i mean i still have a few of them but for the most part like you don't really need plastic organizers you can always use things that you have already at home like mason jars you can use baskets this is joel's xbox and or uh controller and like remote that we kind of hide um in our uh, council like TV council downstairs. You can use other baskets. You can use cups and dishes um, But if you are needing like a specific drawer organizer, you could also get bamboo Organizers and bamboo is one of the most sustainable materials out there and you could always find like random Organizers at probably thrift stores or getting something secondhand. So I just feel like you don't need to buy brand new plastic organizers. There are so many creative ways that you can organize your things with things that you already have at home and I also I always think that if you feel the need to go out and buy a bunch of organizers maybe the first step should be to go through your things and reduce the amount of stuff versus trying to organize a bunch of stuff because often once you kind of go through declutter you don't really need as many organizers or things that you may have thought you needed to organize this mess. You just needed to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> Another thing I think people can live without are dryer sheets. Instead, I use wool balls like this. They're reusable, they are made of a natural material, and then to make them smelly, or like your clothes smell good, is I'll drop a few drops of essential oil. I personally really like the smell of lavender on my clothes, so these are a great alternative to um, dryer sheets, and they are much more sustainable. Another thing I think that people can live without are a bunch of dedicated cleaning supplies or soaps. We actually only use probably like two or so different things in our house that are like our cleaning supplies. Uh, we use Dr. Bronner, specifically the baby one. It is my dish soap, it is my hand soap, it's what I wash the baby things with, it's what I wash my body with. So you really don't need a bunch of different dedicated soaps in your life. Something like a Dr. Bronner's is super multi-purpose and can be used throughout your home. And then you only need one thing and then you can just decant them into different, um, like a spray bottle or I have like a hand pump with that foams, which is really nice um, for the Dr. Bronner's. And it just, I just have to have one like pump right next to the sink. I wash my hands with it, wash my dishes with it, everything. Another thing I think people can live without would be a plastic phone case. I have the Pella phone case. I got this about a year ago maybe or something like that when the iPhone X came out. Um, but it is made with plants and it is 100% compostable. Like how cool is that? 
This thing, I was, this is my first time owning one of these Pella cases, and it is like in pristine condition and it protects my phone, whoops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it protects my phones really really well. Um, I will note if you get the lighter colors it kind of can pick up some of the um, coloring of maybe your pants or whatever you store it in. They put that on the website too so if that were to bother you you can get like the darker colored ones and you don't see that because my husband has the black version of this case. But I, it's got really good, like a cool texture and like it just it's so cool that once I'm done with this and uh, I'm getting a different phone at some point in my life I can compost this phone case. How cool is that? So since Harriet was born, I have not worn nail polish and I kind of love it. So I feel like another thing you could possibly live without would be nail polish, like owning specific nail polishes. And I just, it's something I could never, I just have never really had that much time or like ability to maintain it. And I feel like if I really want my nails painted, I could go to a salon here locally. I know there's one um, not too far from me that actually has like clean nail polishes. Uh, so it doesn't have like the dirty nine ingredients that uh, you want to avoid in your nail polishes. So I have not bought nail polish in a very long time, let alone use nail polish in a very long time. I also feel like my fingernails are so much healthier from um, not using nail polish. They're probably also healthier from being pregnant because pregnancy does amazing things to your nails and your hair, but I used to get like kind of um, like the tips of my nails were just a little bit like weaker, would flake off. and. I have yet to experience that now going nail polish free for like eight months. Another category of things that I think that people could probably live, live without would be leftover craft supplies. I am somebody who used to carry, like I used to have a bin full of leftover craft supplies. And I just not that long ago, a couple of months ago, um, decided I was going to get rid of all of my leftover craft supplies because I had stuff that had been in, in there for years and years and years and so my new approach to kind of like leftover craft supplies or craft supplies in general is to really buy only what I need and what I'm going to use and if there is something left over I donate it or give it to somebody who I know would use it. So my thought process behind that is if I can replace something like craft supplies like wooden beads or yarn or something like that and I'm not going to use it anymore uh, I'll either give it to like my mom who loves to knit or somebody else who would use the craft supplies or like I said donate it but my thought is if I can replace an item for $20 or less in 20 minutes or less I'm not going to keep it in my house and that goes with craft supplies. I also feel like it makes me a lot more mindful of like what I actually buy to create something so that I don't have a bunch of leftover um, supplies. Another thing I think people can live without would be a dedicated gym bag. I choose to just use a tote bag to go to the gym or yoga. Um, having a dedicated bag I just feel like is a bit unnecessary for like a very specific task. Plus a benefit of a tote bag is you can pop it in the washer and clean it when you're done. If it starts to get like smelly or stinky or anything like that, or I use these for my groceries so it's nice that I can also wash it and use it for multiple activities and it's just small, compact, I don't need to own a bunch of like different bags like an athletic bag and a tote bag and a backpack and all those things. I can pretty much whittle down my bags to like a tote bag will really suffice for most activities in my life. Another thing I think people could live without would be pajama sets. While I think that pajama sets are very, very cute, when I have bought them personally, I don't usually wear them like as a set or really get that much use out of them in just the traditional set layout. Instead, what I do is I get like a couple pairs of really comfortable, wonderful like pajama bottoms or like sweatpants that I can wear or joggers and then I actually use like clothes that have worn out in my capsule as my pajama tops so it's a way for me to kind of get the most use out of clothes that have maybe 
gotten a little worn around the neckline or got a small hole in it and it extends the life of them in my closet by just shifting those items to my pajama clothes and things that I don't wear outside of the house. So that's it for the first in this series of some things you could probably live without. I would love to hear what you guys think are things that you could probably live without. Like I said, these are just items that I feel like for my lifestyle are things that I could live without. And it's not so much that I think everybody should live without these things, but I think this series, or at least what Whitney series has done for me, is really kind of make me think, do I really actually need that or is it? probably something I could live without. So I just think this is a fun series of random bits and bobs from daily life um, that are maybe unnecessary in your life or my life. Um, yeah, I just thought it would be a fun series to start. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have other videos that are kind of geared towards like simple living, minimaliz minimalism um, on my channel. Uh, one of my like most popular videos would be my tips for a clutter-free home that is filled with lots of helpful tips on how to keep your home clutter-free. I'll leave a link to that um, in the cards as well as in the description of this video. But if you have any other things that you think that you could probably live without, I would love to know in the comments. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description below and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks. Bye.